the way to get my keys. I forgot how beautiful the drive is to my house. <sighs> my house, that sounds so good. I can't even breathe. Oh my god. This this is from the this is from the owners. have allowed and come to so much creativity and art sheltered in you. I hope this magical space does this for you too. Congrats and welcome to your newest journey. Welcome to this beautiful desert. I hope you are captivated in a way that is irreplaceable and irresistible. I hope you feel that you are home. That, those letters were heavy, <laughs> but in the best way. But you can even see the thoughtfulness, like Kathy's stairway to the stars. That's just a little, that's just a little bit for you guys. After I could actually breathe because I used to move multiple times a year. I've never really had like a home home. It just took a lot to settle in for a second. The first thing I did was do the five minute journal that I know and love for years has been a part of my non-negotiable daily routine, which I have linked down below for you. And we're off. I'm gonna show her the house for the first time. I'm a little nervous. She hates the car, but I bought her snacks. And she's actually really enjoying the view, which is cute. This is so crazy. I'm about to show you our new home. We won't have to move after this. Hey ma'am, we are officially home. I'm pulling in to our driveway. <gasps> are we here? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna pull right up to your dog ranch right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, are you so excited? Oh. <laughs> Ready to see the house? Okay, one second, let me get you. Come with me. Jen, don't remember, watch the floor. <gasps> oh my, come this way. Look, this is yours. Oh my goodness, come see. Come here. This is her little, not little, it's huge. This is her dog ranch. Good girl. But we're gonna totally make it over. Oh, there you go, there's some poop to let you know. Good girl, already marking it. Are you excited? Cow cow, what you think? We are starting February off with a bang the moving storage service that i've been using for basically since my breakup said that they didn't service my area for a long distance move i had to talk to a million and one people and it hands down is so frustrating because they were like basically telling me i couldn't get my stuff unless i drove to the facility that is back to where my house was unloaded it myself and then moved myself. Thankfully, Melissa, shout out to Melissa if you're watching, she just called me and said that although it is going to be $2,000, not where I wanted to spend my money in my house, but here we go, let's kick it off and I'm gonna be honest with you. It is $2,000 to do the long distance move and I know it sounds crazy, but that to me is worth it because I already packed that thing full. I just want something to be easy. So for once I'm like kind of just saying screw it and investing and making my life easier. Now we're sort of in a pickle because it has to be delivered and they don't know how long it's gonna sit because I live in the city of nothing. <laughs> so no Wi-Fi, no, like honestly, it really like, even the cops don't come to you in time. Like, I mean, it's just a slow city. It is desert time. So basically they're saying the pack rat's gonna sit there until further notice, until they have another pickup out there because it's not worth their time to come out and just get mine. Which isn't that kind of funny. Like, 
it's becoming an inconvenience for me to have their service. <laughs> she was supposed to be convenient. It's kind of how my life works. So today we're gonna do the thrift flip. I already edited a social campaign. I need to do a, another voiceover and then I need to head to Home Depot. There's a lot going on. And then later I'm gonna go to my house because I had the opportunity to meet the daughter of the father of the house that I own. And I'm already falling in love with her. But she told me a couple of fun facts about my house. So I just wanna go and check them out today and you know, go to my mailbox and do all the things. Oh, and the video, uh, the first recap went live yesterday and you guys are actually really loving it. It's weird, I haven't had a video rank one out of 10 on the back end, and this one is, and I'm very excited. <laughs> I was so nervous putting it out. Okay, bye. Don't distract me anymore. Okay, I am here today at the house. I get to actually work in the workshop because the first two things I wanted to do when I got my own place out here was to get solar and to get security. So I rushed over here thinking they were gonna be here, but they're not. So I'm just gonna have some fun moving in a little, even though I have no furniture or anything. All my items will be delivered tomorrow here. The $2,000 pod. <laughs> but I'm just excited and I wanted to share, so. Come with me. This is my carport, how cute. I'm a mess right now because I thought they were gonna be here. I like literally just rushed out. So right now, I'm just going to move in a couple of items. I have a no furniture in here. I think I'm gonna make a DIY gym in the meantime in the dining room since it has like the perfect flooring for it up until I build my own gym. And because like my girls, the people that are coming over aren't expecting my house to be fully furnished, I'm in no rush to decorate the inside. I'm actually gonna be focusing solely on the exterior, which I'm very excited about because it's about, it's already so hot today and I'm just excited for it to be warm. You're on top of my really cute fireplace, by the way. Mm, I love it. And all my first gifts from my house are up here as well. So today we are just going to be doing tedious sanding and perfecting of the thrift flip that we did with zircon if you have not seen that video go watch it it's an easy thrift flip and it was just fun to use a new tool that i'm gonna have to get very familiar with in this house and the other structures that are on my property i'm excited to work in this shop because i think as i work in the shop i mean it's not really a shop it's just like a shack with a table but as i work in my shop i get to just kind of imagine what i want i'm just excited to like get my items here and have them like live here it's like <sighs> rachel why are we crying <sighs> well that took a turn i'm gonna just try not to cry for a second i know i'm very excited because it's permanent you know like i bought this house this is my house so all my items stay that's so weird. Why is that making me so emotional? It's like I don't ever have to move if I don't want to. What in the world? <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, um, I'm gonna stop freaking out and start to get to work. I have like an hour until these solar people come, so I'm using that as an excuse to not work and to focus on life stuff. I don't have typical air conditioning. That is why there is a remote like this in a situation like that. But I have a brand new five minute journal. I, I'm waiting to use it. I bought this like three months ago to start a new one in the house. I don't want to bring my old stuff to here. I do want to chapter it, but I don't want to bring it. And then Miss Lindsay got at home in Joshua Tree. This is like the freaking infamous Airbnb out here. I will link them. And then she just knows me too well. This is my coffee table book, which is just the colors and everything, my hero. Over here is one of my favorite gifts. It was weird because for Christmas, I was literally thinking how Lindsay has one of these in her house and I really wanted it. And then voila, she gifted it to me and I didn't even tell her. And then we stayed at an Airbnb that had a bajillion of these for just everywhere and I loved it so much and she got me one of these and I'm just so excited. Oh my God, you guys. And then, cool story behind this. I found this in a thrift shop out in Joshua Tree. It's one of my favorite. I don't know the name of it. I will try to figure it out for you. But my mom has always had one of these in the backyard. It's always been blue, a little bit green and I've had this weird like pull to it my whole life. I never knew what it was called up until I found it here at the antique bar and it is called the Circle of Friends, Ring of Friends. I will link an article that I like about it and also put it up here for a quick minute. But it is a candle holder. So when I 
found this, this thing was $80, uh, a little bit expensive, but I text my mom immediately, like first piece of home decor that I bought. I've been looking actually for one of these, basically since I got into interior decor because I just, I don't know, I had a weird pull to it, and then check that out, Circle of Friends, so that's exciting. I'm excited to put this outside and just have a little moment for my mama. It looks deceiving, but the closet is massive. I'm excited to move stuff out of these because my pod comes tomorrow for the 15th million time to take a shot. For every time I say this pod is coming, I'm gonna start to unpack some stuff so I could use these to move those items into since I'm gonna get rid of the pod completely because I no longer need it since I own a house. Fun. So that goes to my shop. That goes to my shop. Okay, these are taser flashlights. Yes, I know, it sounds aggressive, but I live alone and it's just nice to have, okay, leave it to me to open a box like this. So I bought one for each room in the house, just so whoever's staying here can feel safe and so I can feel safe as well. Looks like, oh, just uh, what's that? Just a flashlight by your bed? No, I'm gonna tase you. You better back off. <laughs> Good. Sometimes I don't think it's okay that I can adult, but this I love having. One by my bed in every single bedroom. Oh my gosh, let's charge this. My solar guy just got here, so I'm gonna take a pause. But this is the closet, it's actually huge. Which I'm very, very, very excited about. Like look, even something over here, ooh. The first thing that I did when moving into my house was getting a custom mattress. And I have to shout out Mattress Insider for gifting me this California King. I was able to call in and fully customize this mattress to be extra thick. The foam that I want, literally everything. And it was shipped directly to my house and I could easily just unravel it into my master suite. This is the first official night. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Are you ready, kid? I'm really doing this, kid. I'm really living, living alone. I recently built myself a bed around this mattress and then added the most incredible sheets right on top of that to just make it just the perfect nook for Callie and I to sleep every single night. Legitimately, my first bed as a grown adult, well, just a human in general, I truly am so appreciative. You have to be Getting into my own groove was a little overwhelming, to be honest. I've never been around so much silence before, and I have obviously now grown to absolutely love it, and I cannot get enough of it. But at first, it was a little intimidating to just have the freedom to do whatever I wanted, and I quickly fell into a routine that I love. All right, Wind. We hear ya. That we do. I wanted to take a quick second to let you know what is actually playing on the speaker during this entire situation we got going on in this episode, and that is today's sponsor, Audible. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment all in one place. At Audible, you can find the largest selection of audiobooks ranging from bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs, languages, business, motivation, and I'm basically in the motivation area right now is what I'm playing on repeat. As an Audible member, you will get one credit every month, good for any title in their entire premium selection. You will also get full access to their popular Plus catalog. That is filled with thousands of thousands of audiobooks, original entertainment, guided fitness, and meditation. With everything you love to listen to all in one app, Audible is your playlist for life. New members can always try Audible for 30 days on them. If you guys are not already a part of the Audible family, you can go ahead and visit audible.com slash METS or text METS, M-E-T-Z, to 500-500. Again, you can visit audible.com slash METS or text METS, which is my last name, M-E-T-Z, to 500-500. 500. Thank you so much, Audible, for sponsoring today's episode and just keeping me sane throughout the cleaning up the mess of my property. 
I have always wanted people to walk into my house and just breathe in and be like, oh my gosh, it is just the coziest thing and it smells so good. So I love having PF Candle Co's Golden Hour cones on hand at all times. You can get a subscription if you want to. I'll link it down below. And then I just have a signature candle that is my go-to that I have in basically every single room as well. A day that has become quickly my favorite are Saturday mornings, and that is because I go to the local farmer's market and I buy myself flowers every single week. So I used to beg boys to buy me flowers, but let me tell you, just buy them for your damn self. It feels that much better. I do use HelloFresh for my meal service, that I'm never lying about, but for groceries, I also get them at the local farmer's market. I try to get everything from my farmer's market. It's really fun and relaxing to just kind of reset each week with that. While finding my groove in my routine, I did realize that I need to prep a lot more because I do live kind of in the middle of nowhere and there's not things readily available like they used to be in LA. So that's been an adjustment, but it's been super fun and empowering to like have to be on top of it versus using a Postmates or something like that. You sleepy? The wind makes you tired? Good morning. Cleaned a bunch last night, but now we gotta clean the floors and the bathroom. I like to save that for the morning because when I'm walking through during the day, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so clean. Who did and then I'll do my, don't mind my nails, I ripped my stickers off last night. And then I'll set and read a little chapter from each book and write in my journal. I'll start off with this guy because he's a good daily for empaths and April 6th is today. And then I'll move on to my five minute journal, which I do every day for the last like three years. I do anything though, I'll wash my face and then I'll put on um, eye patches and ice roll my face before I finish my actual facial routine. This is just from my dermatologist. You can't get it besides from them, uh, and it's recommended for my skin. Yeah, I don't fix my hair yet. Even though it's almost been a year since my breakup, a lot of people still ask me how I've gotten through it and I've just kept a lot of consistency in things that I can quote unquote control, like doing the five minute journal to recenter me, making sure I'm getting my facial routine every single morning and night and also getting a good workout. So I'm gonna start doing morning yoga and make it a non-negotiable as my friend Lizzie from House of Timber says. I get so thrown off from so many different things. I've had one consistent like my morning routine that I even compromise, you know, sometimes. It will help me stay more balanced and not freak out when things don't go my way. So I'm gonna time lapse through yoga, a booty exercise, and then this is called Lagree, and I'm gonna do a Lagree routine and roll out. That's what you're about to see. I'm gonna take care of my body first thing. That's what I gotta do. I'm not the type of person to say I need to be working out X amount each week. I like to listen to my body. That is something I never used to do. And specifically because I live alone, kind of in the middle of nowhere, given the work that I do, I really do need to be in tune with my body. So some days I'll do these back-to-back -back mini workouts. Other days I'll do weights. But one thing I do not compromise and I do not pass up is breakfast. I have been getting a little bit more aggressive with my cooking techniques because that's what keeps me interested. Like I said, find what works for you. I like to find different accounts through my friends. My friend Anna was posting this lightning kale and crispy egg that she's making in minutes flat. And it looked absolutely delicious. So I jumped on the bandwagon of Frank's crispy egg and lightning kale and I'll link it down below for you as well. He's a fun Instagram to follow for just the most incredible Italian dishes, cooking tips and tricks. And just his flair makes me interested in what he's doing and it allows me to learn more about my food and how easy it is to create a incredible meal and keep yourself fully fueled throughout the day. I'm not gonna sit here and say everything was happy-go-lucky all the time. I definitely hit a wall when I had to keep reorganizing my stuff and moving it around. I was just really tired of living out of a suitcase out of boxes and constantly moving things to move again to yet move again to find a home finally and towards the end of it thank goodness I had Callie I mean every time I'm getting deflated and I have Miss Callie Bella with her balloons it makes me instantly feel better <laughs> One last mess, couple last messes. Okay. How long do you think this will take me, my love? The balloon is bigger than you. Oh, bop. Oh, I told you, you have long nails. Fun fact, first night, tried to just, you know, set a cozy fire, set off every alarm in this house possible for like 30 minutes. Then 
I go to cook myself a steak and a little bit of a salad dinner. Go to grab the pan directly out of the oven without a mitt. I'm fine, it's fine. It's interesting to watch this back and emotional because I can see how scared I was in the beginning and now how strong and confident I feel. What a journey already and it's only been a couple of months. And I really can't help but think how much growth has already happened within me and how much magic has already happened here. Freaking pretty, wow. What else could possibly be around the corner? It's so exciting. I think the most incredible part about this is I'm only on this journey with your love and support and so the least I can do is share these vlogs of self-progression and the magic and the moments behind the scenes that you guys have enabled me to live every single day. You win. I like that technique. That technique is very solid. Your technique with the truly up is very solid. <laughs> I never really used to have friends up until, honestly, a couple of years ago. I was such um, a, a loner, if you will. I was always losing friends. I didn't really have any redeeming qualities about myself when I was younger up until recently. And I just wanted to say that because it doesn't mean you can't change, progress, and find the people that are going to surround, support, and love you once you fully love yourself. driving to Mr. Benueta's and I just had like this I don't know I just felt like I needed to share these type of days with you for instance I had three deadlines that I was wrapping today three different projects they're all exterior and there's a huge wind sandstorm happening so I literally cannot do them before I used to kind of break down and then turn back to more manual labor um, and absolutely lose my mind now, I wanted to share with you what I'm doing that's new that hopefully inspires you guys to do the same. We're gonna just, we're gonna, you know, flow around the obstacles today and I typically don't do that and I wanna bring you in. Being honest, I would let um, my mentality defeat me and I would leave, like, I would basically throw every responsibility out the window, which we cannot do. So I was just sitting there and it just hit me, why don't we do all your office work that you possibly could do record future voiceovers for different sponsors that we have like let's be productive not counterproductive to yourself just because you got bummed something didn't work out like that's not okay to do oh man my mood just keeps deflating okay i just got back from ben's because i don't have good upload speed so i have to go somewhere to upload footage and then came back here because the wi-fi was out just things aren't going my way so i'm gonna take a quick nap and let's reconvene okay if I am still feeling in a funk, the only other way that I know how to get out of it is honestly blast music at the top volume that your neighbors will allow you to. You know, I don't know what your situation is. Dance and clean. That's honestly all I do. And it doesn't hurt that when I take out the trash, that is my view every single time. It just kind of recenters you even when you're doing the most tedious and dirty of tasks. Okay, so, hi. April 21st, that's Wednesday. Shade Room just went live. Now, my girls just left yesterday, so I have a little bit of like a play date hangover, is what I like to say. And when I post a video, I actually have video hangover. Like, getting it live, making sure I'm responding to all of you guys because I try to respond to all of you guys on Instagram and YouTube and messages. Um, to just ensuring that I'm not like forgetting anything. If I didn't spend the day engaging and just trying to keep up with that, it just wouldn't go as well. And I really like the shade room. I'm very excited about it. It's my favorite place. But that means that my day is kind of spent back and forth between computer work to make sure that I'm staying on top of all the things and then doing all the little tedious things I have put off for the last two and a half weeks because my focus has been the exterior since, you know, I'm having my little breakup birthday and also my actual birthday here with a couple of close friends. I really just want to get it ready. <gasps> oh, I have little Gary's. Let me show you. You see him right there? Oh, he just ran off. These ones have such crazy long tails. 
Anyway, it's very exciting stuff. I've been feeding them and I want all the woodland creatures or the desert creatures to come. Wow, I get distracted by those little creatures. So right now I'm gonna take you through a couple of things that I already did. Plan the month of May to have a more consistent series going for you guys, like to have a complete thought for the month since my head's been a little scrambled since I moved in, which, you know, is no excuse. We're almost halfway through the year, which is out of control. And then, um, again, just some back end paperwork I did. Didn't want to film it, that's a little bit boring. But let me bring you around like the the tediousness, which is not tedious. I love to do it since it's my property. The other to-dos I've had on my list for like three weeks now, I'm gonna go ahead and do with you guys uh, on this vloggy situation. Hi, we are back in the RV trailer and I'm gonna take some measurements of the bathroom behind me because I want to start designing that. And since I have the time today, playing catch up, this is what I look like. I'm a mess and a half. Let's get to work. Gosh, the wind scares me so much. Jesus. I will always measure another project that is going to be a couple months from now. That way, when I'm getting deflated with any project at hand currently, I can design a future one that I have nothing to do with quite yet to get my spark up and going again. All right, time to water my trench area. A couple of you have been asking about the jacuzzi series that will be up and running uh, after I dig my own trench. I got quoted from my electrical company that they're going to be redoing all my electrical, but to just dig a hole, it's not just a hole, it is a pretty gnarly one. It was $3,000, so your girl, she's going to water the trench to make it a little bit easier for her, and then Miss Woodbrain and I are going to try to tackle it and record that whole process for you guys as well. I am definitely cozy in my home, but it just was missing a little something, like a lawn ornament that I see all over the place out here in Joshua Tree. So I went ahead and bought one of my dream cars. All right, this is my 1961 Jeep Willy. It is a shell of a car. There was no engine, no nothing, but it was such a good price I had to get it because just look how cute it is. <laughs> obviously being sarcastic about the lawn ornament but that really is a thing out here in Joshua Tree from tractors that are run down to the pickup truck behind my Jeep on my neighbor's property I mean it is just a common thing I am really excited to work on this and get it up and running way down the line but currently my temporary solution is making this a quote-unquote day bed because obviously I have about 50 million other projects that are of higher importance. So I will be doing a DIY video with this to make it cute in the meantime. And I don't really know where my mind is gonna go with it. I'm just really excited that I have it with me. Be able to have another project to work on in the future to act as motivation when I'm feeling deflated with other things. It's really nice to have. Genuinely have no idea where this desert chapter is going to take me, but I'm excited to have a desert diary with you guys along the way and specifically my bulldog. I would be so lost without her, so lost without you guys. And she is getting a brother, not a human one. She is getting a puppy brother at the end of May, which I don't think you guys are ready for. Now that we've been here for a couple of months, I do think there is room in my heart for a man in my life in dog form, which... Oh, I cannot wait, you guys. It's just getting crazier and crazier. So this is archery. This day bed will basically be the check-in point, you know? So you can sit here, watch archery. You can watch the horseshoes or see the beautiful mountains back there. Or you can walk all the way down and go to the future greenhouse. And then those two structures will be demoed very soon. I'm gonna get her out of here. Oh my goodness, you guys asked for a longer episode and did I deliver <laughs> with the length of this vlog. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this desert diary entry vlog number two. I can't wait to do another one with you guys. I will see you soon for another DIY.